Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned how to build word clouds in R. In this video, we learn how to build word clouds of multiple words in R. So these are generically called n-grams. So if a term in the word cloud has two words, those are called bigrams. If it has three words, then it's called a trigram, and so on and so forth. For that, we need the TM, the text mining package, the ggplot2 package, which is for the graphics. Word cloud is for designing the word clouds. R Weka is an R interface to Weka. So first we need to install them. Install them. So you go here, you type the name, press install, and it gets installed. So we need to do the same thing for all the four. Once that is done, we need to run the library statement. Yeah. So then we need to set up the working directory. The working directory is the place where all your files are saved. So we need to run that. I have already done that. So then we read the file. So this is the file. So like you can see there are one, two, one, three, two, four entries. And I have the original file with me as well. So this has one, three, two, four entries as well. So yeah. So once that is done, we need to convert the text into a corpus, which is nothing but a structured set of text. So we do that. After that, we carry out a few exercises like converted, converting it into a lowercase, removing the numbers, removing the stop words, removing the punctuation marks. Once we have done all these, we see a lot of extra white spaces has been generated. So we need to strip them off. So we strip them off. And let's view it again. And yes, we see that the extra white spaces are gone now. So we set, we now set a lim, uh, minimum frequency for the bigrams. I have put it at, as two here. Then we put some separators here. So one of them is the tab, the carriage return, new line. So a token here, like you see, is nothing but a unit of the word cloud. So it can be a buy token, it can be a try token. So then we write a function for the n-gram tokenizer. So first we put the corpus name, then we put a weka control. When we put two here, that means we want terms which has two words in it. And then we mention the delimiters. So we had Mention the delimiters here. Then we execute it. We convert the file into a data frame. Then we sort it. So let's have a look at the sorted one. So yeah, now you see two words can be seen here. So once that is done, we generate the word cloud. But before that, we'll Make sure there is ample space for each of the words to be viewed easily and then we run it. So now you can see that this is a bigram because it has two words. So let's look at this word cloud statement once. So the word cloud statement starts first with the terms, then with the frequency. Then with random order false, false means the highest frequency term will be at the center. Scale is just to adjust your uh, word cloud. Minimum frequency is what you set. Then max word is the number of words that you need, the maximum number of words that you need in the word cloud. So this is for a bigram because it has two words, hence by. So you can export the picture. You click here and you press save. Your uh, word cloud gets saved as an image, or else you can take a snapshot as well, whichever you are comfortable with. So, in case you want a word cloud with three words in it, you can just write the same thing and just change it from 2 to 3 and run the query. So I'll do that. Yeah, 
now we have three words here price guaranteed call one price guaranteed draw shows won so again you can click here and save it as an image everything remains same the only thing changes is the number of words that you want you mention it in min and max as well so that is it for this week thank you everyone please like share and subscribe thank you